Welcome to Advanced Learning Tutoring. This is the Physics Playlist. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Waves. Transverse and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves, for example ripples on a water surface and light waves, have the direction of oscillation perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer similar to moving a slinky or a rope up and down. They have a crest or peak, which is the maximum point of the wave, a trough, which is the minimum point of the wave, amplitude, which is the height of the wave, and wavelength, measured from one point on one wave to the same point on the next wave. Wavelength is measured in meters. Longitudinal waves, for example sound, are where the direction of oscillation or vibration is parallel to the direction of energy transfer. Think about a slinky being pushed backwards and forwards so that a pulse is sent down the slinky. Where the slinky bunches up together, this is an area of compression where the waves are closer or where the waves are spread out is described as an area of rare refraction. From one compression to the next, from one wave to another, is known as the wavelength. Properties of waves. The amplitude of a wave is the maximum displacement of a point on a wave away from the undisturbed position, or the height of the wave. The larger the amplitude, the higher the volume of sound. The wavelength, measured in meters, is the distance from one point on a wave to the equivalent point on the next wave, or the length of one wave. The frequency, measured in hertz, is the number of waves passing a point each second, or the number of waves per second. The wave speed, measured in meters per second, is the speed at which the energy is transferred through a medium. To calculate time period in seconds, we do one divided by the frequency in hertz. This tells us the time taken for one wave to pass a point. Wave speed can be calculated by multiplying frequency and wavelength. These equations are not on the physics equation sheet and therefore need to be learnt. Measuring the frequency, wavelength and speed of waves in a ripple tank required practical. Using a ripple tank, explain how a student could make appropriate measurements and use them to determine the wavelength of the waves. The equipment required is a stopwatch to time the waves, a meter ruler to measure the distance traveled by the waves. To determine frequency, Find the time taken for 10 waves to pass a point. Frequency equals number of waves divided by the time taken. To determine wave speed, measure the distance traveled by the wave and the time taken for the wave to reach the distance and do speed equals distance divided by time. Use these to determine wavelength. Wavelength equals wave speed divided by frequency. Measure the frequency, wavelength and speed of waves in a solid, required practical. Explain how a student could make appropriate measurements and use them to determine the wavelength of waves on a stretched spring. The equipment used is an oscillator, which will generate our wave attached to a spring to determine frequency, note down the frequency of the oscillator. To determine wavelength, make suitable measures to find the length of a single loop and calculate the wavelength of the waves. Determine wave speed by multiplying frequency by wavelength. Increase the frequency to obtain more loops on the string. The loops meaning the up and down motion of the spring. Make more measurements to see if the wave speed is the same. 
Reflection of waves required practical. Waves can be reflected at the boundary between two different materials. Waves can be absorbed or transmitted at the boundary between two different materials. In reflection on a smooth surface, we draw a normal. A normal is at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the surface. The incidence waves hit the smooth surface and are reflected at the same angle from the normal. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection for the reflection at smooth surfaces. On a rough surface, we see diffuse reflection. And this is when a wave is reflected by the rough surface. Rays are scattered in different directions. In refraction, when a wave crosses a boundary between materials at an angle, it can change direction. How much it is refracted by depends on how much the wave speed slows down or speeds up. The higher the density of the material, the slower the wave travels through it. If the wave is traveling along the normal, it will change speed, but not direction. So when you shine a light at 90 degrees to a surface, in the same direction as the normal, the light wave will not change direction. Sound waves. Sound waves can travel through solids causing vibrations in the solid. Sound does not travel through a vacuum. A vacuum is one in which there are no particles, as there are no particles able to vibrate and carry the sound. Within the ear, Sound waves cause the eardrum and other parts to vibrate, which causes the sensation of sound. The conversion of sound waves to vibrations of solids works over a limited frequency range. This restricts the limits of human hearing. The normal hearing range is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Sound above this is known as ultrasound. Waves for detection and exploration. Ultrasound waves have a higher frequency than the upper limit of hearing for humans. Ultrasound waves are partially reflected when they meet a boundary between two different media. The time taken for the reflections to reach a detector can be used to determine how far away the boundary is by using a speed distance time equation. Just note that the time that you measure is the distance travelled there and the returning distance, so always divide the time taken by two. This allows ultrasound waves to be used for both medical and industrial imaging. Seismic waves are produced by earthquakes. P waves are longitudinal seismic waves. P waves travel at different speeds through solids and liquids. S waves are transverse seismic waves. S waves cannot travel through a liquid. P waves and S waves provide evidence for the structure and size of the Earth's core, as the Earth's inner core is a solid and outer core a liquid. Echo sounding uses high frequency sound waves to detect objects in deep water and measure water depth. Using the speed distance time calculation, you can send an echo and time how long it takes the echo to return. Dividing this time by two and knowing the speed of sound, you will be able to calculate a distance. Electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves that transfer energy from the source of the waves to an absorber. Electromagnetic waves form a continuous spectrum and all types of electromagnetic wave travel at the same velocity through a vacuum or air. Note a vacuum is space with no particles. 
The longest wavelength electromagnetic wave is the radio wave. Decreasing in wavelength to the microwave, infrared waves, visible light waves, ultraviolet light waves, X-rays and finally gamma rays which have the shortest wavelength and therefore the highest frequency. The visible light range is the only wavelength in which the human eye can see. This light can be split by a prism into different colours, which is why we see different colours of light, they are different frequencies or wavelengths of light. Red having the longest wavelength to violet having the shortest wavelength. Investigate how the amount of infrared radiation absorbed or radiated by a surface depends on the nature of that surface. Required practical. Using a Leslie cube, which is a cube that has different surfaces, for example, a shiny black surface, a matte white surface, a matte black surface, and a shiny silver surface. We can use an infrared detector to measure the infrared intensity of each type of surface. We find that the matte black is the best absorber of infrared radiation and shiny silver is the best emitter. This explains why in a thermos flask the inside is shiny and silver. Smooth surfaces, for example mirrors, will reflect light and little is absorbed. On rough surfaces, for example paper, light is reflected and scattered at different angles. Properties of electromagnetic waves. Radio waves can be produced by oscillations in electrical circuits. Oscillations are the vibration of a wave. When radio waves are absorbed, they may create an alternating current, which is one in which the current changes direction, with the same frequency as the radio wave itself. So radio waves can induce oscillations in an electrical circuit. Changes in atoms and the nuclei of atoms can result in electromagnetic waves being generated or absorbed over a wide frequency range. Gamma rays originate from changes in the nucleus of an atom, in nuclear radiation, where an unstable isotope will decay. Ultraviolet waves, X-rays and gamma rays can have hazardous effects on human body tissue. The effects depend on the type of radiation and the size of the dose. Radiation dose is a measure of the risk of harm resulting from an exposure of the body to the radiation. Ultraviolet waves can cause skin to age prematurely and increase the risk of skin cancer. X-rays and gamma rays are ionizing radiation that can cause the mutation of genes and cause cancers. Ionizing radiation is one in which causes atoms to turn into ions by either losing or gaining electrons and in turn forming an abnormal cell. Uses and applications of electromagnetic waves. Radio waves for TV and radio. Radio waves are transmitted easily through the air. They do not cause damage if absorbed by the human body and they can be reflected to change their direction. Microwaves in satellite communications and cooking food. High frequency microwaves have frequencies which are easily absorbed by molecules in food. The internal energy of the molecules increase when they absorb microwaves, which causes heating. Microwaves pass easily through the atmosphere, so they can pass between stations on Earth 
and satellites in orbit. Infrared, electrical heaters, cooking food and infrared cameras, known as thermal imaging cameras. Infrared light has frequencies which are absorbed by some chemical bonds. The internal energy of the bonds increases when they absorb infrared light, which causes heating. This is what happens during the greenhouse effect, where the greenhouse gases are able to absorb infrared radiation, causing the heating of the atmosphere. Visible light, used for fibre optic communications, and the light that we see. Ultraviolet, used in energy efficient lamps, sun tanning, x-rays and gamma rays, are high energy waves. They are transmitted through body tissues with very little absorption. This makes them ideal for internal imaging. X-rays are absorbed by dense structures like bones which is why X-ray photos are used to help identify broken bones. Lenses. Lenses use the effect of refraction to form images. Like mirrors, there are two types of lenses, convex and concave. Convex are converging lenses and concave are diverging lenses. Convex bend outwards, concave, inwards. A converging lens focuses parallel light to one point, i.e. converges the light. A diverging lens makes parallel light spread out, i.e. diverges the light. Converging lenses. If an object is placed between 2f and f, then the image produced will be real, inverted and magnified. A use for this is in projectors. If an object is placed at f, the focal point, then the rays of light will never meet. This is used for spotlights. If an object is diverging lenses, always produce the same type of image virtual, upright and smaller. Diverging lenses are commonly used in spectacles for people who are short-sighted. They suffer from myopia. From the top of the image, we draw a line parallel to the principal axes to the lens. From the top of the image, we draw a straight line through the principal axes and where it crosses the lens. From the focal point, we draw a straight line upwards to where the object parallel line crosses the lens. Where the two lines cross, that's where we see our image in front of the diverging lens. Visible light. Each colour within the visible light spectrum has its own narrow band of wavelength and frequency. In the visible light spectrum, the lights are split between red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Red having the longest wavelength of light and violet having the shortest wavelength of light. Colour filters work by absorbing certain wavelengths, therefore colour, and transmitting other wavelengths and therefore colour. The colour of an opaque object is determined by which wavelengths of light are reflected. Wavelengths that are not reflected are absorbed. If all wavelengths are reflected equally, the object appears white. If all objects are absorbed, the object appears black. Objects that transmit light are either transparent or translucent. In the case of an orange coloured filter, white light shines onto the orange filter, it will allow orange light to be transmitted and all other wavelengths of light are absorbed. In the case of a green object and white light shone upon it, 
green light is reflected and scattered. All other wavelengths of light are absorbed. Black body radiation. All bodies or objects, no matter what temperature, emit and absorb infrared radiation. The hotter the body, the more infrared radiation it radiates in a given time. A perfect black body is an object that absorbs all of the radiation incident on it. A black body does not reflect or transmit any radiation. Since a good absorber is also a good emitter, a perfect black body would be the best possible emitter. If white light, where radiation of any possible wavelength, is shone onto a perfect black body, all wavelengths of light are absorbed and no wavelengths of light are reflected or transmitted. Black body radiation. The intensity and wavelength distribution of any emission depends on the temperature of that body. Explain how the temperature of a body is related to the balance between incoming radiation absorbed and radiation emitted. If the rate of absorption is greater than the rate of emission, the temperature of the body will increase. If the rate of absorption is equal to the rate of emission, the temperature of the body remains constant. Explain how radiation affects the temperature of the Earth's surface and atmosphere. The temperature of the Earth depends on many factors including the concentration of greenhouse gases such as water vapour, methane and carbon dioxide. The Earth's temperature also depends on the rate at which light radiation and infrared radiation are absorbed by the Earth's surface and atmosphere, emitted by the Earth's surface and atmosphere. When visible light and high frequency infrared radiation are absorbed by the surface of the Earth, the planet's internal energy increases and the surface gets hotter. Note that internal energy is the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy of the molecules within it. Some of this energy is transferred to the atmosphere by conduction and convection. Note that Conduction is heat transfer through a solid and convection is heat transfer through a liquid or gas.